So this video is about how to fix AI skin in 30 seconds. So as you can see, this is the AI skin. It's a bit too smooth. And then this is way more detailed, looks real. So I made a video on this topic several months back, but the tech has gotten way better. So this was one of the examples I had in the old video. You can see here the skin, it looks pretty AI and fake. And here it still looks pretty AI and fake, maybe a bit better but also some of the faces changed, like this girl on the left, which isn't good. To get started, go to freepick.com, freepik.com, and I'll put that in the description. And once you're there, make an account, FYI, it is paid. The monthly plan starts at 8.5 USD per month. So it's not a lot, but as you saw, the results are pretty crazy. And once you're inside, you want to go to all tools here on the left and then go to skin enhancer. And then over here, you upload your photo. And then once you do that, you select one of the options, which I'll explain shortly and then hit enhance skin. So this doesn't work with pictures that look completely AI or fake. You want to have a picture that at least looks somewhat real. For example, this is the example from the past video that I did. So this is the before, this is the after. Didn't really do much because the pic was just too AI to begin with. So here you can see that the skin does look a little AI or overly smooth, but it's not completely fake looking. So I made this pic using Nano Banana Pro, which is a new AI image model from Google that's pretty good, as you can see. But the skin can still have that somewhat AI or fake look to it. So in order to fix it, we upload it here where it said upload before. And then I wouldn't use creative because it changes the picture too much. And th these little question marks next to all the settings will tell you what the settings do. Faithful is all right if you already have something that looks pretty good. And then flexible is kind of in between creative and faithful. So for this one, I did the faithful setting with skin detail at 80, sharpen at two and smart grain at 12. but you might have to play around with the settings. And once you choose your settings, you just hit enhance skin and you gotta give a bit of time for it to load. And by the way, if you don't wanna deal with having to fix AI skin, my AI dating slash social media photo app, ChatGPT, generates pics that don't have this problem in the first place. If you're interested in that, I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, so here are the results. This is the before, this is after. So you can see it's much better. It looks way more realistic. So if the first result isn't perfect, you can try playing around with the skin detail that is increasing the level of detail on the skin. You can try adding grain, which adds noise to the picture. So that's good for pics where you want it to look real. Sharpen, I wouldn't sharpen too much. Flexible, you could try different settings like enhance skin, enhance everything, transform to real. And that's pretty much it. It's a very straightforward tool to use. You can use it for sort of general purpose photos like I showed you here, or you can use it for pictures for dating, social media, etc. And if you want to learn everything you need to use AI to improve your dating life and also social media profile, I'll leave a link to my community in the description where you can learn about that. Or if you just want to generate AI pics where you don't have to fix the skin, like in these pictures that you see now, I'll leave another link to my app in the description. But yeah, that's the vid. You know, like and subscribe if it helped and see you next time.